Hi, I'm Mr Parker and this is question 4 on the OCR Core 2 paper from June 2014. For more questions on this exam paper, click the link here or check in the video description. In part 1 we need to show that the equation sin x subtract cos x equals 6 cos x over tan x can be expressed in the form tan squared x minus tan x minus 6 equals 0. And in part 2 we need to solve that equation giving solutions between 0 and 360 degrees. So part 1, starting with sin x minus cos x equals 6 cos x over tan x, we need to write it in terms of just tan and tan squared. In order to do that, we're going to use the two identities over here, sine theta over cos theta equals tan theta, and sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. At the moment, there aren't any sine squares or cosine squares in this equation, so we're going to look for somewhere where we can get sine x over cos x. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide both sides of the equation by cos x. On the left hand side that means we'll get sine x minus cos x all divided by cos x and on the right hand side dividing by cos x will cancel out this cos x on the top of the fraction leaving us with 6 over tan x. On the next line I'm going to leave the right hand side the same but I'm going to separate out this fraction into two separate fractions one with sine x over cos x and on the other side we're going to have subtract cos x over cos x. Now we're in a position to use one of the identities because here we've got sin x over cos x so we can replace that with tan x and here we've got cos x divided by cos x which just gives us 1 so we get tan x minus 1. On the right hand side we've still got 6 over tan x. Next we multiply both sides by tan x to remove it from the bottom of this fraction. That will give us tan squared x minus tan x. And on the right hand side we'll just have 6. Finally subtracting 6 from both sides gives us tan squared x minus tan x minus 6 equals 0. In part 2 we need to solve the equation we've just rearranged so we can start with the fact that we know that tan squared x minus tan x minus 6 equals 0. Even if you're unsuccessful in part 1 they give you this so you can still start from this position. So this might not look like the quadratic equations you're used to solving but we've got something squared minus something minus 6 and the coefficient in front of the something squared the tan squared is just 1 so we can say that a equals 1 for this quadratic and we're subtracting one lot of tan x, so b becomes negative 1, and the constant on its own is negative 6, so c is negative 6. If we work out the discriminant of this quadratic, we get minus 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 6. Minus 1 squared is 1, and we're subtracting 4 times 1 times negative 6. Well, 4 times 1 times negative 6 is negative 24, so if we do negative 1, subtract negative 24, we get 25. And because 25 can be square rooted easily, we know that this quadratic can be factorised. So to factorise this quadratic, we're looking for two numbers that multiply together to give negative 6, and two numbers that add together to give negative 1. The two numbers we're looking for are negative 3 and 2. So we can factorise our original quadratic into tan x minus 3 and tan x plus 2. So our next line of working out under here will be tan x minus 3 in one bracket, tan x plus 2 in the other bracket equals 0. Now that it's factorised, it's fairly straightforward to solve. We could set the left bracket equal to 0, in which case tan x equals 3, or we could set the right bracket equal to 0, in which case tan x is negative 2. From here we can use our calculator to do inverse tan, so to find x we need to do inverse tan of 3, but before we start, if you've just done the last question, you'll notice your calculator may be in radians. So don't forget to skip back to degrees before you start. So inverse tan of 3 gives me 71.56 and so on. Because I'm looking for all the solutions between 0 and 360, I might be using this solution again later. So I'm going to store it in my calculator. To do that on a Casio calculator, you press shift and then the button with store written above it and then you press any of these red letters here. I'm going to store it under letter A. And on my calculator it says the answer has been stored as A up here. So I can use that later now. Next up I'm going to do inverse tan of negative 2 to solve this equation. And that gives me minus 63.4 and so on. I'm also going to store that in my calculator in a similar way under B. 
from here we've got one solution which is in our region here and we've got another solution which isn't in our region so we need to manipulate this solution to get some more solutions between 0 and 360 and the rule for getting extra solutions with tan is that you do your original solution plus 180 and that's because if you draw the graph of tan you'll see it repeats itself every 180 degrees so we'll start with equation 1 where we had 71.56 I stored that as letter A and I'm going to add 180 onto that and that gives me 251.56 and so on it's always a good idea when you're writing down these solutions to give them to more precision than you need for example I'm going to round this to three significant figures at the end so I've left four significant figures in my answer here so that when I round it I don't get a rounding error later using the other solution with the negative 63.43 I stored that as B on my calculator I can add 180 to that that'll give me a solution that's 116.56 and so on and I can add 180 to this again and still be within my region and that gives me 296.56 if I added 180 to either of my solutions here I would be outside my region so that is going to find me all my solutions so I've got 71.6 252 117 and 297 when I round to three significant figures when you're answering one of these questions it's always a good idea to write all of the answers at the bottom so it's very clear to the examiner what you want to be marked as your final answer